Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 20th, 2019. So yesterday, kind of a challenging day, a little bit of, well, almost schizophrenic uh, price action in the market. And unfortunately, we left behind really concerning candlestick patterns on the chart. So yesterday I mentioned how important it was that, you know, to pay attention to, to resistance levels in the chart. And what we ended up with yesterday, first we, we had bulls clearly in control uh, in the morning uh, session. Those bulls were pushing hard. They really wanted um, higher prints and were looking really good. At one point, the Dow was up about 185 points, looking really, really good. And then we had news come out that suggested some new challenges with the U.S.-China trade deal that China may be walking back some of the things that they'd originally offered. And all of a sudden, the bears came out to play. And the good news here on this candle is at least um, at the end of the day, we caught a little bit of a rally and prevented a bearish engulfing candle uh, from occurring here but we certainly have a bit of a dark cloud cover here on this uh, chart. And unfortunately, it comes right at the place where we don't want to see it, right here at a potential lower high. Um, if this were to get follow through to the downside, that could be technically damaging to, um, to the chart. So we don't want to see that occur. A follow through to the downside here would create that lower high and add additional challenges here to the Dow. So let's keep an eye on that and hopefully that does not occur. Now, of course, today is all about the FOMC. The FOMC reports um, their decision on interest rates at 2 p.m. today, 2 p.m. Eastern, that is, and the they're largely expected to leave interest rates flat. No one's expecting an interest rate increase. The question comes into play around their forecast. What's their forecast that they're also issuing at 2 o'clock as well? And what are they planning to do with their balance sheet? Decisions on how much uh, they're going to continue to carry on their balance sheet. So we'll have to watch that report pretty carefully. Now, right now, currently, as I'm recording this, futures are basically flat. We're not really going anywhere. They're all just slightly negative, but we're basically flat um, on our futures. Um, Asian markets were really tepid and cautious overnight, we're kind of waiting on the Fed. Uh, closing uh, mixed, but mostly lower, and then um, European markets are red across the board this morning. Again, um, a, a lot of that happens to be uh, waiting uh, for these uh, this decision by the Fed. So we'll have to kind of stay focused on price action today. Now, what's likely to occur, and this happens pretty typically around FOMC days, is we have very light and choppy price action throughout the entire day, right up until 2 p.m., and at 2 p.m., we get a, a burst of volatility and wild price action as the market tries to digest um, what, um, what just occurred um, from uh, the FOMC decisions. And then um, that could, that burst of volatility, that could last through the chairman's comments at 2.30. After that, we uh, may decide to pick a direction and move from there, and we'll have to watch and wait, uh, focus on that price action when that occurs. Let's take a quick peek here um, at the SPY. SPY, oops. SPY also uh, left a bit of a concern here um, in its candle uh, on the day. But it's in a better position than the Dow. As you can see, 
having broken above this level of resistance right here, um, we don't face the same problem here in the S&P 500 as we do in the Dow with a potential lower high. So SPY is in a better position. And if we were to hold up in here, I think we're, we're going to be okay on the SPY. Um, however, if that were to, you know, if we were to get a failure pattern through here, once again, that could create some te technical difficulties in the chart just simply because that is failing, um, would be failing um, right around or near these price resistance levels. And that that creates problems uh, for the market psychologically. So we'll have to watch that closely. Hopefully that doesn't occur. So keep a close eye on that. Um, Right now, I, I got to say that the SPY is, is really not uh, in danger like the diamonds is right now. Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's also in a similar situation, having broken, th broken through to new highs, testing this price resistance yesterday and then pulling back from it, leaving a bit of a indecisive candle here. Um, just a little spinning top doji, a little indecision right here at price resistance. Once again, we don't want to see that follow through to the downside, creating that potential evening star pattern or failure type pattern here. Um, a but we have a better chance on this to find a little resting point in here, have the market bounce around in this area um, and build a little bit of a level of support. So that's also possible here. So watch that close uh, today. Uh, if we start seeing those bears coming in and pushing hard, uh, things could get, could get worse pretty quickly if that were to occur. Take a look at um, IWM. Now, IWM is the worst of the bunch, and IWM left behind a bearish engulfing candle and a lower high. So here we have the diamonds and we have IWM in a similar situation. Now, one good thing about this chart is that it's still holding this level of support. Any follow through to the downside, and it looks like IWM could follow through to the downside a little bit, breaking that level. That really could create that te technical damage here in IWM, um, showing that failure pattern here at a lower high. So we'll wanna focus in on that and watch that kind of closely today. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday, started to show us a little bit of fear creeping in um, as the market started to sell off and you can see picking up here just a little bit so nothing nothing here is suggesting we're gonna fall off a cliff or that everything is bad or anything like that i don't want to leave that impression with anyone but if this continues to rally up we'll want to definitely focus on this price resistance level we don't want to see fear spike out of that if we can hold below there i think we're in great shape if we happen to get up above there uh, different questions will come into play but for now that uh, not a major concern here but just take note that a little bit of fear might be creeping in to the market that we'll want to keep an eye on let's take a look at t2122 t2122 four week new high new low ratio Yesterday, during the high point, we were pushing right up here into this bearish reversal zone. But um, by the end of the day, uh, that selling coming back in, pushing us back down. So we're getting close back down here toward that 50% area where we have room to the upside and room to the downside. And that's really all T2122 is telling us here. Um, we, we do have room to go both directions uh, in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar. Oops, I ended up picking up a few things here as I move that across. Our economic calendar here, as you can see, we do have the petroleum status report here at 1030 today. Uh, that can move the market around if we happen to catch a surprise build or 
surprise reduction in in supplies so we'll want to keep an eye um, on that number uh, that certainly um, all those oil stocks will be affected by that and then the FOMC announcement at 2 also the Fed forecast and the Fed chairman's report uh, coming out so we'll want to really focus in on during that time period we could see a lot of volatility around that time period in the market on the earnings calendar, we only have about 52 companies or, or so, uh, 50, 60 companies reporting earnings today. And uh, not a whole lot of really notable earnings today. Um, we do have like GIS, GIS reporting, and you can see they've reported well. Um, General Mills moving up strongly here. Um, GES. GES is also reporting and they haven't reported yet you can see we've got a wide bid ask spread as the the market is waiting for um, that uh, decision um, yesterday FedEx really kind of disappointed the market um, and you can see FedEx shares are tumbling about seven percent this morning and the real concern here um, on FedEx is just that it's pointing to the idea of a of the global slowdown and being uh, affecting you know those shipping uh, things for all over the world so watch that close um, I don't know if that will get any worse or not but it's it's really adding to that story that potentially economies are slowing down and we should pay attention uh, to that so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button there on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, uh, for all of you folks who do take the time to do that, um, I truly, truly appreciate it. It really helps the algorithms show these videos to more folks when you click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. Thank you so much for those who do that. I do try to answer each and every comment and I want to just really say you guys are the best. I, I truly mean that. Um, um, you guys are just awesome that you uh, do take the time to acknowledge what we're trying to do here and just the whole idea of traders helping traders do a better job. So thank you for those who do take the time um, to do that. And I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for potential trades. Now, let's take a look right here, GDDY. This was actually brought up to me uh, by one of the members of RWO, and that's one of the great things about uh, uh, our trading room is that it's not about me. Um, everyone in the trading room uh, really participates in helping to identify and and looking over the market uh, these potential trades and you can see GDDY nice little rising pattern here and it is moving over toward its trend we had a bit of a bullish candle here yesterday trying to break through this resistance so you can see I've placed an alert right here on the chart now of course we do have to respect the resistance levels above and if we do break out that could move us higher right into here so watch that closely but gddy might be one for your watch list i've also been keeping a pretty close eye on baba Bob is going to be very much affected by what happens with the China trade deal. And as you can see, Baba has broken through this resistance and is now just kind of doing that sidestep, uh, moving over um, toward the possibility of resuming a trend. Now, I don't know where this trend might be yet, but trying to uh, potentially resume a trend. We'll want to watch this for any breakout above this level. Uh, Baba could be a really nice chart to have uh, to be paying attention to. Another one of those charts in that same uh, same area, those Chinese uh, stocks that are sh is showing the exact same pattern here is JD. JD having broken through this base building 
pattern that uh, took quite a while to build. Um, moving up in a nice trend and now starting that little consolidation that tight range consolidation moving over toward its trend you might want to watch this one for that potential getting uh something to you know maybe just a little bit uh, less volatile would be something like Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble, um, after breaking through this resistance high, I'm going to go to a weekly here, breaking through that resistance high, you can see these are blue skies above here in, in Procter & Gamble. And um, breaking through and now pulling back and getting a little consolidating move in here. I want to keep an eye on PNG if it can hold above 100. 100 after breaking through can be a natural support level. If it can hold above 100, uh, Proctor has an opportunity to really move on and um, look pretty darn good here. So keep an eye on that. Also keep a, uh, an eye on Walmart. Walmart breaking through um, on uh, excuse me on Tuesday breaking through looking uh, excuse me Monday breaking through looking really good here and on Tuesday just getting a little bit of a rest um, in that chart any kind of a little rest or pullback consolidation in here would be an opportunity I think for me to add to my long-term wall uh, Walmart trade um, I've been holding this for a long period of time but I think I might add to it with um, an option position and um, really try to enhance that trade now I do have to respect this downtrend resistance here so pay attention to that as we approach it but I think there's an opportunity uh, for Walmart to move higher here assuming it, that the market can continue to hold on um, and and move on up uh, as long as we don't have too many of these challenges here one uh, uh, last chart i want to bring up is facebook facebook has been selling off pretty strongly here and there's uh they face a really big regulatory challenge and, and changes they, and they've got lots of turnover um, employee turnover key employee turnover um, in the company so some challenges here i gotta tell you facebook is 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 showing me some signs here where this could set up for a really good short so keep an eye here on facebook if we happen to get any kind of a rally back or a failure at a lower high position that would be something i would want to be considering for a potential short also if the stock were to drop through here drop through that support rally back. I would look for that failure pattern here um, at a rally back point. And if that were to start kicking lower, might be an opportunity for a short. They're, they're having some real struggles. So keep an eye on that, breaking this downtrend and um, showing some ugly signs here. Uh, that might be a good potential trade to be watching for that short side move. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Thank you so much for those of you who do take the time to uh, click the subscribe button. And, and make sure if you do, click that uh, bell icon. Also, thanking you for clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments. You guys are awesome. We'll talk to you all bright and early. Bright and early Thursday morning. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all on the other side.